what was your shoot schedule like for something like that? So it varied, and as, as the show evolved, it definitely changed. Um, I believe we shot the first few episodes in that space, and then Jeff moved on to other things, and we moved on to another space. Um, you know, and Hayden quickly became the, um, you know, it became Hayden's project. Uh, when we first began, it was a bit more of a, let's all build this together and see what happens. Um, and Hayden had such dry determination, a very clear view of what it was going to be, and, um, you know, really wanted this to go, and, and it was his concept. So he started really networking, and because, you know, there were so few web series at that time, it was just like, what's this? So... Hayden was able to procure space um, at a small studio in Doheny. Was a, it was a green screen studio. And so the first few episodes, I believe we shot at the green screen studio at Jeff's place. And then we got this green screen studio uh, in Beverly Hills. And um, I want to say that we would shoot four episodes at a time. Okay, now, you played Zoe Crab, a Travis. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Now, you were saying initially it was collaborative. Were you able to create that character, or was that something that Hayden wrote? Well, so to begin with, each one of us met with Hayden, and he said, you know, I've got this idea for your character. Here's what I'm thinking you'll play. You know, here's what I'd like to see happen to the character. And it, it changed significantly throughout. But we kind of discussed, well, what if her background is this, and what if these are her hang-ups, and this is her neuroses, and, you know, this is, these are her goals, et cetera, et cetera. And again, a lot of that morphed, and um, characters changed significantly as we went along, and as it became more of Hayden's baby. Okay. But Hayden to begin with, it was initially was like the normal one who sighed at the lunacy going on around. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. And we we had definitely discussed, you know, Hayden and I had discussed that Zoe would be the straight man, okay. for the most part. Um, so it it was a necessary character to have in the madness. Yeah, because there were some very strange John Chaffer's character and <laughs> Vulture, who, I, I, I don't know if that guy, he plays the same weird guy in everything. I loved him in Mighty Boosh, but it was pretty much the same oh, yeah. guy he played in Goodnight Burbank. Yeah, exactly, which reminds me, when you mention Rich, um, you know, Hayden had all of these great guest anchors come in, and that evolved, too. That, that was not, you know, that did not happen right away. Um, but as the show progressed and got a larger viewership and, you know, got quite a bit of press in those early days, um, a lot of really fun people signed on to come and be guest anchors. And then, of course, there was a spinoff, which was um, Breaking News with Carly Craig and Monica Young. Yeah. Um, and that came along fairly early on as well. Those were kind of like inserts, weren't they, to Goodnight Burbank? Um, well, they or were their Minnesota. own... They were kind of their own things. They were they were kind of like interstitials, but they were their own little beast. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we never actually, up until we did some sort of press event, we actually never met those gals. Like that's how separate they were from the rest of the cast and their shooting schedule and the concept of that. Okay. So it's kind of like, I guess, when Autumn in the first season did all of the remotes. Mm -hmm. uh, where she was just Exactly. Kind of all of our remote people were truly <laughs> remote. <laughs> And a lot of that was just born out of necessity, you know? It was just kind of like, what's going to make the most sense? Who can shoot what where? All of that good stuff. 